Right, okay. This is the black on then. And next thing you know, we're going to dry brush it. Now, the best thing for this is a very old, stiff, flat paintbrush. Now, I've had this one for a long, long time. What we do is we just get some Tamiya XF16 aluminium. I'll move that to the side. What we do, push it down to get the paint in and out, and then scrub for your life. You want it all off. If you, this is one of those things where, obviously, less is best. You want it all off. Push it in hard. Okay, and you want to do it so there's hardly anything coming off, like that. Okay, now we're going to work all around the cockpit. We don't want to go near the black bits first because we know there's going to be more silver on the brush. So what we do, we start up here and cause a little bit of weathering on the back panels and bulkheads, on the floors and things like that to use up some of the silver. Okay, then what we do, very lightly, brushing across. Remember, this is one of those things you let build up over time. You're not expecting to do it on the first pass. And if nothing's happening, then obviously you just keep gently going away, turning it, and do the other half. Now, there's a little thing I used to do, or was told a long time ago, it's called triangles. If you just do crosses, though, and then as the paint wears down, you can just brush very, very lightly back and forth to bring all the details out with your dry brushing to bring all the switches but also what you're trying to do is just wear away slightly at any corners any edges anywhere around the cockpit obviously the more you push down the more paint you're going to leave behind and all the switches come to life beautifully like that